Engaging. Thought provoking. Exchange. Re energizing. Revealing. Supportive. Surprising. Fabulous. Clarifying. Inner peace. As I think about a, a retreat and what a retreat means, I always say it's a gift you give yourself. For all of us, there's kind of an information overload and, uh, and too many distractions and the information comes at us like a fire hose and so in one very important way, reflection and renewal is almost just a coping mechanism to deal with that. The uh, retreat experience is an attempt to provide a bit of an antidote to that uh, so that people can take the time to uh, get in touch with their uh, some deeper thinking and feeling about uh, what's going on both uh, at work and maybe not at work and uh, to try to really see what matters to them at a, a deep level. Look, look, look down on my life and see how, um, see the bigger picture instead of just being caught up in the whirlwind. But it gives you focus time to uh, really I think better get a better sense of what it is you do at the college and you walk away with more direction. Um, it's not any sort of group therapy or group counseling. Um, it's not advice giving or advice receiving. Yes you are there with other people and yes you sometimes sit in a circle. Uh, we don't say kumbaya though, uh, but what we do do is we do activities that allows us to reflect on ourselves as persons and then our professional lives also. I got, it took probably about 30 seconds to realize that, that it was uh, all of my skepticism was unwarranted, that the work was genuine. It's a very safe and non-threatening environment. And you know, it was, it was not a judgmental type of experience at all. It was very open and honest. And I guess when I think about it, it's more of a, maybe a, a full massage for your soul and your mind. I really do think the, uh, the connection that comes out of this among the people who work here is a very positive thing for the life of the college. I would describe it as just a time away from the daily work, to look at the bigger picture, to both look outside yourself at the bigger picture of what we're doing and, and our impact on the world, and also to look inside yourself at what you bring to the, to the mission. It's kind of a, a chance to reconnect with other, other individuals, but more to reconnect with your true self. The retreats start with these touchstones that we all are abiding by. Walls go down. Touchstones are very important and, and they're what help me feel comfortable with the whole experience. The touchstone that says something about when times become difficult, turn to wonder. Well, I wonder what's going on in their life right now. Or um, I wonder what brought them to this point. And just the idea of allowing myself not to really question with judgment, but to question with wonder. Slow down to focus on what it is you're doing and what is the most important thing you need to do helps you to become a better person and it helps you become a better employee. The two things that I would say I've tried to carry uh, forward both into my personal work life is um, uh, listening deeply and uh, asking open honest questions. One of the benefits of the retreat are when you go back to your office or your classroom you carry the touchstones with you not just a little piece of paper on your desk which we kind of tape up to the wall but you carry them in your heart. Yeah. First of course as a faculty member it's uh, how it helped me um, uh, teach in terms of teaching and interacting with the students so being fully aware of the diversity of the students and how to uh, make sure that everyone's individuality uh, is taken into account. 
Yes, one of the benefits to being in the formation retreats is I have more tools to use in the classroom based on the touchstones. Another thing is uh, no fixing. Um, teachers seem to have the professional disease. We like to fix people. <laughs> As instructors, we do need to create an environment where students are, they feel welcome and that they can participate in classroom discussions. But we also need to let them know that it's never, you have to share or else, or else we think badly of you. And, um, and I use that as a, a guideline in my classroom, a, a standard. I use it as a touchstone in my classroom. One of the touchstones that I use frequently is the power of silence in my teaching. And I thought if my students can experience that through the silence, you know, then it's all good. Then they can discover that they have multiple answers to their questions. I think the students benefit because the faculty is given a chance to renew and refresh their viewpoints. I think one of the things that I applied here at the college in my role is we've actually used some of the touchstones that we always use at each of the retreats in our staff development committee meetings. Our lives are so very busy now and we find that people rush into meetings and they're really someplace else and we take the time for some quiet and some settling down to gather together our thoughts, to focus on what we're here to do for the meeting time. It brings your humanness and their humanness together and so when you see them in the hall, now you're saying hello to a whole human being. I think a, a sense of trust within the organization is a major thing to be gained from this. Everybody benefits when they trust the other people to uh, say what they think and do what they say and that their word is good. I can bring all the things that I learn uh, back to my job and I, as a counselor, as a father at home, so it, it just um, fits so perfectly with my life. I came away with a greater appreciation for Century and for what I do with Century. For Century, I think the work of reflection and renewal is really what it takes to bring us to the next vista as an evolving teaching and learning organization. And I recall that my shoulders didn't feel quite so heavy and the whole retreat uh, I felt was well worth the time away from family and well worth going to a place for an activity that I, I certainly didn't expect that outcome, but it was a great outcome for me. I would just like to say people should give it a try, and if it's just a lunch break type retreat, um, you don't have to be afraid of it, you don't have to share any personal information or deep feelings with anybody if you don't want to. You have to find the time in order to recharge yourself. I have not met anybody that has not enjoyed uh, these retreats. It just, everybody I run into, I just hear positive comments from, and I feel like I'm an ambassador towards them too, and I tell my colleagues, you really should try it, you should try it. One of the things I kept marveling over was the college supports this. I felt like I was getting the most intense personal benefit like this is something that was really for me and yet the college was not only supporting it but encouraging me to get involved in this and that was stunning and I really thought this is an institution that supports people really supports the people who work here and is willing to you know spend the time energy and money to help them to become better people better employees better workers I mean I just thought this is cool <laughs>